The Trelawney police have confirmed that at least two people are dead and several others injured following a two-vehicle collision in the parish Thursday afternoon. The identities of the deceased are not yet known. The accident reportedly involved a Toyota Coaster bus and a Toyota van on the Braco Main Road. More details coming soon. This morning, people, we hear one news on RGR Radio. Both a 16-year-old and a 21-year-old who had a relationship and the 16-year-old female stopped the dude and killed him because they had an argument. I sat down and I said to myself, look at that. For the past two years, men have been killing their spouses. For the past two years, females died because a partner who not willing and ready to move on after they cheat them. That's why I tell people, say, I am big on this liar. Me, me hate this loyalty. Me hate that person who cheat. Far, far from your cheat, me for cut you off. Far from your cheat, me done with you because guess what? Most of the time, it's not you who harm me, you know. It's the person who you cheat for me with, who you tell say me exist. Want kill me because guess what? I wonder what me do. Why you can't respect me? I call this say respect me because you tell them about me when you actually par you know respect me. You know respect me. Make you tell her about me. You tell her about me because you want to have control over her. You want to use me for control her. You want to have you want the presence of me if you have her under wraps. You get her to do anything you want her to do. So you see, look a girl on my out here, a 16 year old just left school after the one that we want to do with their life. And out there, my people are telling about going in a relationship. Don't go in a no relationship that I'm comfortable in this afternoon. Go on a school. And when you're done university, I can guarantee you, you that you're not going to want a relationship with the people, person where they would know before you start university. You go see life way different. Even if him go to university too, is I can guarantee you 50% of the times you're not going to want to be around him. You go and go live your best life. Because guess what? That is what people do in their 20s. In their 20s, you go and live your best life. So a man then we out here. Yeah? We are tired of self and each and they self and a little young girl and when I live no life yet to control them and manipulate them. You're sick and something wrong with you. And no fight time is not the little young people them I do it. It's the people them where way older them like all one seven year, one ten year and upwards. Come on now. Some of them have children. Some of them big old man have children. So female and I love you, love you. Because there is nothing that a sixteen year old can offer a big man more than six. You can't have him a stable home. You can't take no nice in your head from no pitney. You never go through no hardship in your life. You can't realize, say, yeah, this is what life is. I'm more a stay and I look after him pitney them. You can't do nothing. You can't do nothing we go contribute to in life as a 16 year old girl. I talk to a 7 year old man. With my man, 7 year old than you. So stop from making them trick when I tell them about love. It is not love, it is manipulation at its finest. And the man that we have daughter, we need to stop it, especially our people who have children. need to stop walking and do it. A makeup artist and her boyfriend were shot and injured by men posing as police at their home in Savalama, West Milan, on Thursday morning. The incident happened shortly after 1 a.m. Reports are that the couple were at home sleeping when they heard a banging on the front door. The voice then shouted, Police! The perpetrator reportedly smashed the front glass window and kicked open the front door. The victims then ran through the back door and were chased by the gunman who proceeded to open gunfire, hitting the female to her left thigh and her partner in his right leg. They both sought refuge in the homes of their neighbors. The gunmen subsequently fled the area on foot. Both victims were later assisted to the hospital where they were treated and admitted in stable condition. Investigations are ongoing.